In this three-part build series, I'm going to be turning this 3D model into this. This is a homemade 3D printed CNC machine that I have been researching, designing, and developing for the last seven months. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's jump right into the video. On the first part of this CNC build series, we worked on the assembly of the machine, and in today's video, we're going to be building the electronics control box and wiring everything together. If you haven't seen part one of this series, be sure to check that out after, and be sure to like and subscribe because on the next video, we're going to be putting this machine to the test.
I almost forgot to test the fan. So this is the switch to the fan. Yep, it turned on. And I can feel air being blown through the holes in the back, so that's exactly what I wanted. All right, guys, I got my computer hooked up and we're finally about to jog this machine for the very first time. Um, a few things, I need to add drag chains to from all my stepper motors uh, just to <laughs> make the cable management a lot nicer. Um, I also, I just have one end stop installed at the moment, uh, limit switch. So I need to add the rest of the limit switches. And then I drew, I did a, I drilled a hole in the box because I forgot that I have to have limit switches. So I need to run all these wires through there. So uh, let's turn the machine on here. And the platform I'm using, I'm just using uni universal G-code sender to send the codes to the machine. So let me let everything connect here. All right, we'll start off with the x-axis. I have it set at 10 millimeters at a time. That looks about right. Both ways. All right, let's try the z-axis. Perfect. Uh -huh. All right, let's try the Y. Oh, wow. The Y is much louder because it's using two stepper motors. The Y Everything seems to be working great. Um, the last thing I need to do is I need to make an actual spoil board for the machine so that I can actually clamp my work pieces down. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have to figure out how to do that first, but everything seems to be working nicely. We're, we're that much closer to the final test. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to smash that like button and I'll see you guys on part three for the final test. <laughs>